Um, bear with me here. I'm fighting through a little bit of a head cold. Um, today we're going to be talking about the um, part three of the two valve supercharged Mustang build. It's an 01 GT. And um, the last few days I've been putting in trick flow cams, uh, timing chains, double or not double valve springs, but they're single beehive springs. So let me show you the setup right here. Bear with me, the lighting's a little bad, but as you can see, all the new timing chains are in there. New guides, new tensioners, and I'm not sure how good you can see, but there are the trick flow cams. Um, so yeah, it's pretty sweet. Everything's all torqued down to spec, and I want to show you, show you guys how to line up the marks real quick, and I'm not sure how good you guys can see, but it's nice on the two valve because it's pretty self-explanatory. So right there, if you look at the right-hand cam, the passenger side, the chains come with a, a marked tooth, and so you get the engine at number one top dead center, and there's marks on the timing cover for that. I do it with the timing cover on and with the balancer on it. Get it a top dead center and there's a mark at the bottom of there also and then over here on the driver's side which would be the left bank you have um, another mark at the top and if, if, if you guys get psyched out and it looks kind of weird um, it's because the the passenger side one does sit over to the to that side more which looking under under the hood of the car the dot sits more off to the left than 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 this one you know they have a they have a picture online that that shows it on a 90 degree scale and so basically they're offset a little bit so don't get scared it's really self-explanatory you can't really do it wrong because if you have let me see if I can get under here and show you guys this tooth if you can see it I don't know if you guys, yeah, you guys could probably see that, but you see on the bottom how I have the marked, the marked uh, tooth on the chain and it's lined up with the dot for number one top to center. You really just can't go wrong with it because if those are lined up, it's all lined up. So let's come back up here. Yeah, so it should sound pretty awesome. Should have a pretty good lope to it. Um, but yeah, and then furthermore, you get her all lined up, new guides on there, and here's how the tensioners work. They're hydraulically hydraulic actuated and spring-loaded too, I believe, but if you notice there's still a little bit of slack in my chains, um, all I have to do at this point is just pull that little set pin, factory set pin out, and it'll just snap them, snap them open. They'll retract and take up the slack in the chains, and that's it. So that is done. So... I can finally start buttoning up the uh, the motor. If you come look over here, I've got the valve covers painted up. Um, it's actually a, a young woman that owns the car. Uh, she's probably like in her early 20s, and so guys, watch out because there's going to be a a girl with a fast Mustang around here, and she can drive it too. So let's bring these puppies in the sunlight and. Get a little bit better of a look at. I'm sorry, I'm kind of sniffly still today, but let's see here. Yeah, they're pretty, yeah, pretty dry. I'm not sure how good you guys can see that in the sunlight, but yeah, it's got metallic, two layers of clear coat on there. Also did the timing cover. Let's see here, bear with me here. It's really not in the sun. Yeah, so timing cover's done. It didn't come out like the greatest, greatest, but I wasn't gonna be like super worried about that because it's just most of it's gonna be covered anyways, but we still have a little bit of bling on it. So yeah, both the valve covers done. Let's get that bad boy out in the sun. Yep, there she is. It's not too bad. Better than being all covered in grease and everything. So let's go back over to the car. So yeah, there's the our blower. We can start getting that mocked up. I'm gonna let them dry a little bit more and put the fitting in there for the uh, oil return. Let me see. I got that right here. 
Um, let's go back over the timing cover. I'll show you guys again what, what's going on with that. So there's that hole I drilled right there. And that puppy's going to thread in right there. I'm going to go over to my buddy's shop where he has a tap that'll, that'll uh, allow me to add some threads to there. And I'll screw that in. And we'll have the drain resolved. So she's getting pretty close. It's going to be a pretty, pretty sweet setup. So I'm going to pull the pins on these tensioners and get some tension in there. Go tap out the timing cover. And I'll get back with you guys tomorrow.